We looked at Drobo, very, very pricey. I don't know if you've really looked at the Drobo, uh, which is the data robotics unit that takes four drives. It's USB 2.0 and uh, has FireWire 800 as well, but no, no ESATA. It's an external device. It's basically like an external hard drive that takes four drives, and the Pro version, I think, it takes eight, uh, but it's way, way, way pricey. Uh, the, the basic entry-level unit, you can buy a network attached unit to, to plug it into, but that brings the price up to $650 Canadian just for this device. That's without the hard drives, just the device. If you want to stay away from the, uh, their uh, connector for Ethernet, the, the NAS unit, it's, you can plug it into a computer, but then again, you've got to have a dedicated computer. So just not reasonable as far as the price goes, uh, as far as, you know, in my opinion. Have to, that's my disclaimer. In my opinion, uh, yeah, and Das Bomber mentioning that you've got to get the Drobo share, that's the word I was looking for, uh, in order to make it a true NAS device. So in that case, the Drobo connects through USB 2.0 into the Drobo share. The Drobo share then plugs into your, uh, your network. So I don't know how that would, you know, I don't know what the bus speeds would be like coming off of USB 2.0. I know I'd, I'd muchly rather see ESATA on a, on a device that's costing me that much. But as you can imagine, I mean, that's just, that's out of the question. 650 bucks. But you know what's appealing about the Drobo? It's hands-off. That's what's appealing about it. I think if you've got the money and you just, sometimes it's just worth just saying, okay, here's my 650 bucks, here's my unit, I don't have to think about it, I could just plug it in, it works. There's something to be said about that, but 650 bucks. That's that's pushing it, I think. What do you, what do you think? Cha-ching, Relic says.